So you know about CERN and how yeah. they were doing it? It's the Hydron Collider. Yeah. I know, I think they turned it on in 2012. Yes, that's right. Do you think right. that they caused the Mandela effect? I don't know if they caused the Mandela effect per se, but they and are can, missing... Can you explain that as well, the Mandela effect? Um, okay. The Mandela effect is kind of like where people are always like... Things have happened, um, or things that have happened before, they knew it was there, but when they go back and look at it, it's different. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, like if I say to people, do you remember the Kennedy assassination? Yeah? There will be, in your head, you will have one version of what happened, right? So if I was to say to you, do you remember the car that was driving? Yeah? You say, yeah, and I'll say, how many doors were on the car? And you, you might say something like, do you remember how many doors were on the car? Do you know what? I, I can't lie, because I've seen this one as well. I know yeah. it was either four doors yeah. or, or it's like three and three. Right. This is what people would do because yeah. it's like but the I, detail. I, I, yeah. I watched that the other day, the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. And it actually looks like the driver turns back right. and shoots. Right. So I don't know because apparently it was snipers and CIA. Right. And right. So what, what it is, is I also mentioned in another video about trigger words, yeah, because... And I mentioned the boys from Brazil and certain beings that are programmed um, or even clones and stuff that are programmed to carry out assassinations and all kinds of stuff. But um, going back to the question you asked, it's like you think you're 100% sure you remember something. But when you go back and look at it, it's not that. Like, you'll be like, how? how I was 100% sure it was like this. Yeah, so like the Mandela effect is like something where information over time in history is messed up with and there was an excellent Netflix series I can't remember the name of it but it's where you have these people they have a craft and they go back in time and in that they tell you all the things in the history of the planet that have happened like how certain people were chosen to be presidents and they were going to be presidents and um, you know what was going to happen in like world war I must remember to try and find that and tell you what it is but it's just things that you're so sure you know, but then when you go back and look at it, it's completely different. And then you start to think to yourself, is it me or has society changed? Like a friend of mine called me one time, no lie, he was like, have you ever seen mushrooms that are a particular colour or something that we all knew was a certain colour? And I was like, what are you talking about? So he's Googled it and he's seen all these mushrooms that, apparently exists, or like bananas or something, do you know what I mean? It's like, so it's, it's the ability to twist with your, with your memory and your recollection of things and how history has been changed to even match the narrative and people thinking it never happened. So basically, they can, add, they can sway people, and I think this is part of the reason why people like um, Zuckerberg from Facebook um, and certain people that have so much influence or power um, where they can make people vote, you know what I mean, for certain people to win elections and stuff like that, where they bring them now to court to say, like, you have too much control, you know what I mean? But uh, I hope that that helped. But so, um, so what do you think caused the Mandela effect then? Because a lot of people are literally only started noticing it from 2012. So yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. Started. A lot of people only start... It's like, it's like when you wake up to something... Until you wake up to it, it doesn't exist to you. Like, for example, people say, how come I've never heard of Wusabat? Where was Wusabat all, all my life? Like, if you look at that, like, how come we've never heard of you? And it was like, yeah, it wasn't your time. You weren't, you weren't vibrating on the right vibrational frequency at the time. And now you are. It's like even when you read a book or a scroll, when you go back to it, you read it again, you're like, how did I not see this information before? So, for example... The way we break down the Bible now, like, especially like Genesis, the first part where we say, someone says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. And we like, who's talking? You would have never seen that before. Like, people wouldn't think, yeah, who is talking? Because they're saying, let us make God in our image and our likeness, whereas you wouldn't see it like it's been in the third person. So a lot of the times it's down to you, how you are at the moment where when you wake up or when you start to, as you say, have your spiritual awakening, 
because people say, why well, I used to be asleep? And sleep is literally like you're walking around, you can see, but you're not awake. And we call this walking, the walking dead or the zombies, like, and they're now showing you a lot of zombie movies, the zombie apocalypse, because a lot of people are just walking around waiting to be triggered by certain trigger words or certain occurrences that are going to take place, you know, so it all comes down to you.